is going on everybody welcome back guys to the channel today in this video i'm gonna show you that how you can reduce the choppiness and how you can get the maximum frame rate as possible from your tencent gaming buddy to play the pubg mobile on the 60 fps and with the decent graphics so i'm gonna show you the best setting which i use and which i recommend you to use it so that you can get 60 fps no problem without any issue so let's get right into it so before starting the video guys please drop a like if you like it and if this video helped you Please do share the video with your friends, with your gaming community, whoever you know who play this game. Let's start the video and first of all, of course, just open up the Tencent Gaming Buddy. And what you're gonna do is, of course, just get into the settings of this software. And I will also give you the reasons behind all the settings which I will change or I will tell you to change to get 60 FPS on point. So let's get right into it. So go to the settings and then what you're gonna do is just get into your engine and then what you're gonna do is these are my suggestion guys i mean if you have a better pc you can try your own settings but i recommend you guys to use this so first of all go to the direct x plus i know the smart mode it will balance and all but which i tried and which worked for me for better experience of for the fps is the direct x plus so just go over there and click on it and main important thing in this whole issue is the anti-aliasing so you want to disable it you want to close this do not at all go to balance or ultimate because this is the reason what it makes the game more choppy and frame drops and all occurs so this is the main thing or the main setting so just close it in the Tencent gaming buddy and there is also option in game so you have to also disable it i will tell you the reason why you should disable it but as i told you just close it and all the other settings are how your pc is in my pc there is 8 gb ram so over here the maximum it's 4 gb so i am on max and also with the processor the maximum it's 8 core but i don't have a 8 core processor i have a 4 core so so i have selected over there and resolution it's a main thing vital thing but my display is 1920 by 1080 and my graphic card can handle that much so so i'm stick with the 1080p graphics and dpi i really don't know what it affects so just select this as i told you the first two are the vital in this situation so just go to direct x plus and then render cac and then n4 global render cache just checked and also prioritize dedicated gpu so if you have really nice graphic card on your pc do remember to check this and after that of course ndl is in close it disable it you don't want it at all i will tell you the reason in the further so let's just take all this and then click on save and it will ask you to restart the application do not restart your pc it will ask you to restart the application so just restart this software and now open up the game and i will get you guys when the game has been loaded up and there you go so the game has been loaded up and now what you're gonna do is you have to just head to the settings and then go to the graphics section and now so here is the main part so graphics keep it on balance do not go for the hdr ultra hdr i mean just keep it on balance and you will get the best experience and i will also recommend you guys to go on the balanced that's all and now on the second point frame rate of course you want the 60 fps right so just turn it to the extreme and it will give you 60 fps and now what you know do is it's the style so it depends upon you it really doesn't matter but i will stick with the classic and i also stick with the classic while playing so that's why i will recommend you to just stay with the classic mode and now here is the another important point so anti-aliasing it's right over here so i disabled it and i will also recommend you guys to disable it because this is the thing which you the gpu power or your cpu power on whatever your game is running on so i highly recommend you guys to turn this off whether you are on an android device whether you are on your pc playing on you know tencent gaming buddy i highly recommend you to disable this anti-aliasing so what it means right like you are like why i should disable it what difference it will make trust me guys it will make hell out of difference because anti-aliasing it's a thing like it makes the edges smoother you know to look it good and that is what it takes a lot of processing power of your pc or either your you know android phone and that is what it makes a bit choppy because you're of course your device cannot handle that much your device cannot you know give that much power to this game and it leads to frame drop choppiness in the game and that is what it does just turn off the anti-aliasing my anti-aliasing is turned off and i don't know if you can notice this but as you can see the edges of this character it's too sharp right that is what anti-aliasing does if i turned on my anti-aliasing 
the all the sharpness it will be gone what anti aliasing does it it wants some more resolution to make the edges smoother so that's what it takes and because of that anti aliasing turned on your device or your pc it gives a lot of power which it cannot delivers and that's why your game starts to lag that's the main reason guys i mean i didn't knew this but i was fed up because i was also facing this issue uh, with not getting 60 fps and i was like like i'm running on a pc and this is a mobile game still i'm you know encountering this issue and i figured it out it's that simple you just have to disable your anti-aliasing and just turn your graphics to balance mode that's all you want to do guys and that is all for this video guys i hope you guys like this video i hope you get helped out with this video so please drop a like guys do let me know in the comment section down below did you get the 60 fps or you're experiencing the better performance on your device do comment down below it will really help me a lot that my video it got helpful to someone so yeah that was all for this video guys i hope to see you guys in my next video till then take care and bye bye thanks for watching